YouTube, what's good? We now tune into another episode of the Box Chevy Build. And in this episode, I'm going to pick up where I left off and go ahead and make the amp rack so we can start getting all these wires and everything hooked up. See how I got everything out the car so I can go ahead and handle my business. But yeah, this episode, man, we're going to get straight into the action. I'm going to go ahead and get all these amps out the box so we can start placing them on this wood and see about how we're going to make the amp rack. All right, I got everything out the boxes. So what we got right here is four amps, a crossover a fuse block, and a couple distribution blocks. I got some extra distribution blocks right there. I had to order them because they came with the negative leads. I told me I had to put in one of these. So one gonna be for positive, one gonna be for negative. That way it can run to each amp. And I hooked that up. Oh, it's separate, so I'll probably hook that up to one of them. But I think this time I'm gonna have it set up in the... We got two 1200 watt amps and two 3000 watt amps. What I'm gonna do with these, I'm gonna hook all the inside speakers up to these. So it's gonna be 10 speakers hooked up to these two. And it's gonna be four speakers hooked up, two 15s to each one of these. One of these is gonna be the power distribution block, one is gonna be the negative distribution block. And I got the crossover that's gonna run all of them. And I also got me a fuse box that I can run all my accessories and stuff from the um, center console to the fuse box. The um, dude I seen on YouTube, the way he do his, he even hook up a relay. He got a little, like a little relay setup that he do to the um, amp rack too. So I might do that same setup. I'm gonna be basing mine off his. So that's what we're working with so far. Yeah, I've been doing some measurements because I wanted to go straight across the back up there. And it's like 40, it's about roughly 46 inches all the way across. Then I know we got that um that mount right there for the jack. We got that mount for the jack. I'm probably gonna cut that off. Let's see if I can work around it. But yeah, I um I got these set up the way they'll be set up on the in the car. So where they stop at now is like roughly about 42 inches. So they give me some wiggle room. But let me finish on taking my measurements, getting things figured out, like how I'ma mount it and stuff like that, and I'll cut y'all back on. Okay, you two, this is what I got so far. I had to switch up my design. What I'm gonna do, I'm gonna put some amps on this, I'm gonna put some up top. Once I get it fitting up in there right, I'll show y'all exactly how I'm gonna place the amps. Found some mountain points, but I'm satisfied with this. It look good to me. Alright, another quick update. I don't know if you can see it, but I put a rib nut in there. I put four rib nuts in there. Put one on the mount of that. Two on this side, two on that side. One here and one up there. Same thing on the other side. Yeah, I got this baby up here. I'm about to go ahead and I'll just sanding it down flat. Knock some of that 
dusty paint off of it. I'm about to go ahead and spray paint it black. Cause once I mount the amps up here, the amps will not be coming off. I can drill my holes for the um, zip ties for the wires while the amps is um, mounted to it. But yeah, I'm about to go ahead and paint this thing. Inside the car, they line up. Oh, shit. Oh, there we go. Ain't that look good sitting off up in there? I'm telling you, boy, I'd be surprising myself. Put your mind to it, you can do it. Holes drill, rev nuts in there. Yes, sir. All right, you two, we back, baby. It's the next day. Paint on dry on the amp board. This is what I think I'm going for, man. I think I'm gonna um, mount the amps and stuff like this. Got the two big amps up top. And then that way I can run all the wires through here. Used to be on the front side. I'm thinking leaving the thinking about leaving the fuse box upright like this. That way I can run the wires over here, or over here to get to it. That way it won't have to be no a whole bunch of wires running between now. But yeah, that's how I think everything gonna be mounted. I'm about to go ahead and get the mounting this stuff to the board and get the run of these wires to it. I got a whole bunch of wires. I'm about to go get them out the truck. Give me a second. Boom. I told you. Whole bunch of wires. But this right here is all the stuff that I'm gonna need to get this baby up and running, man. Got RCA cables. Got some extra RCA cables. I got a whole bunch of these shorter length of RCA cables. So I might have to custom make some of these cables to reach the amps that I need them where they need to go. But yeah, I got everything I need to do this heat shrink. Got all my wire cutters, my wire crimpers. Everything, man. So what I'm about to do is set y'all up on the time lapse. Go ahead and get the mountain D's to that amp board and get the run of these wires. Let's get it. So I got all the amps mounted. I was out here playing with these wires. I'm gonna have to go to um the sound station and security and get some more four gauge wire. Cause I rather really run four gauge of these. Like I got enough to hit these two amps. I probably could use a bigger gauge on this. But going into the distribution block. I don't know. I know I need to get some four gauge ground wire. Cause I don't want to use the same color wire to run the power and the ground. But yeah. Let me finish playing around and I'll cut y'all back on. Might have to ride out here to sound station and security. The cool thing about making these amp racks is you run all the wires to everything and the wires are on the amp rack. Only thing I have to run 
when you get in the car is the speaker wires. So once I get this in the car, only thing I really have to connect is the two ground wire right here, power wire right there. And if y'all see this, this got fuses in it over here and this just got negative leads. Yep. All right, YouTube, I'm up here at Sound Station and Security. Look at this damn Jeep right here. That shit cool as hell. This the type of shit I do. This is cool in the motherfucker. So the guy, this some shit I do. That's hard. I love these damn Jeeps. I gotta have me one, but that is hard as hell. That's cool as shit. Y'all know I get excited about some cool shit. That's hard. What they got in the kit? I probably need about, about five feet. I probably need about five feet. Somebody done bought all the brown wine. Man. But I'm gonna get my wine, I'm gonna cut y'all back on, but they got some nice stuff up in here. What's that? It's two gauge. I mean, eight gauge. It's eight gauge. I might get some eight gauge for the ground. I don't know. Well, I might get enough and I just have to um put heat shrink, black heat shrink on the um the ones that I use for the um ground. That's probably what I do. I got a lot of heat shrink. You cut y'all off, I cut y'all back on. Oh you too, they got some wheels back here. I like them. Those are hard. I want something like that for the charger. That's what I want for the charger right there. Exactly. Oh, these are nice. I like them. I think it's the same one. Oh, that man, that's mean now. I put something like that on the single cab. This a 22s, perfect size. That's exactly the size I want to put on the single cab. Tell me these won't be hell on the charger. Even them. Yeah. See, that's what I'm saying. I gotta get my speaker wire and get up out of here. Alright, I don't made it back from Sound Station and Security. They didn't have any ground wire. So I might use this orange one as a ground. But man, let me set y'all up on the time lap. So I can get to mapping out these wires, see if I can get it figured out how I want it ran. Okay, YouTube, the battery died when I was getting my wires together. That's what I did, all of my wires, I put one of these caps on them. I forget what they call. Yes, I put these terminals on each one of my wires with some heat shrink. Got them all looking nice and pretty, nice and professional light. What I'm doing right now is I'm routing the wires to the amps. So I can go ahead and get ready to put the zip ties, drill the holes for the zip ties. It's go time, man. Put y'all back on the time lapse while I finish this up. And we'll go from there.
Okay, so I got all the ground wires and all the power wires hooked up. I just went ahead and used the zero gauge wire for the big amps. That way I ain't gotta worry about going back and getting no more wire. And I used the orange wire for a ground wire on the smaller amps. What I'm gonna do now, I need some room. I need to run my remote wires while I'm at it. Go ahead and get it out the way. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use this speaker wire since it's blue. I just separate it and use that on um, blue one for the remote wire. I gotta um run one for um, all four amps. All right, YouTube. So far, that's what I got. I went on ahead and did the remote wires like I said in that last clip. I made one for each one of the amps. I just got them running over there, but I already got these zip tied. Already got these zip tied now. And I got this bundle right here zip tied. I think I'm gonna put one more on this. Probably close to up here. Just to have them all the way pretty all the way across. But yeah, and I might put one over there. But yeah, man. Ant rat coming along. Coming along real pretty like. I'm feeling it. I gotta take a break and go get baby girl from school. She got gymnastics today too. Yeah, mommy might take her to gymnastics and I'll shoot back over here and go ahead and finish wiring this up. Cause how I see it is, all the power wires and everything will be zip tied to the ant rack. And then the speaker wires will come in right here from the inside of the car, go straight to these amps right here, boom. And then the speaker wires from the uh, subs, wherever the subs be, will come right there and come right there. So this is good. This is a pretty uh, sweet setup, man. Building an ant rack for your car is dead. Imagine having to do all this inside the car, run each wire, then hook it up, man. That's why that shit be looking so ugly. Y'all already know, like I said, I ain't going for no tacky looking shit on this build. She gonna be done all the way right. But um, let me go get baby girl from school and I'll shoot back over here, cut y'all back on, I start back getting busy. All right, you too, this is where we at with it. I got all these zip tied down. They all hooked up, except the remotes. I was out here on um, messing with the RCA cables. Now I had bought these off Amazon. I forget how long they was. But one of them long enough to come from there to here. And the other one, I got four on in all. It ain't gonna make it over there. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna extend it. I'm gonna connect that like that so it can run around that real pretty light. And then I'm gonna have to make some or order some of this. I'm gonna have to order some more for the sub amplifiers. RCAs I got right here is what's gonna be hooked to the head unit to run back to the um crossover. I'm gonna have to order some more. This hook to the subwoofer on the back of the um thing. Then I'm gonna have to run some from this all the way to the trunk. I got some in my um in my charger. I don't script everything else out the charger when I go home tonight. I'm gonna go out right there and snatch that one out the charger. That way I can just use that one to run to the head unit, but I am gonna have to custom make some to go from each of these amps to the crossover. I'm gonna go ahead and um, well, get my speaker wires together. See about running them. And it's go time. That thing looks so damn professional. I told y'all, I'm not bullshitting on this bill. Everything on this bill, y'all gonna swerve it down. I took it to somebody's shop. And it was done right here. It was done at the crib, baby. Gotta figure out how to wire up my fuse box. It's go time, man. Huh? This is by far the best system wiring like i ain't never put this much effort into doing this shit and it's coming out nice i went and got these um bolts from autozone 
Y'all already know. Go to one, they ain't never got everything. So I went to one auto zone. They only have one pack and there's only three in them. So I went and got some more. Got some washers. Bolt that baby down. Well, yeah, let me finish talking, man. Get back busy. Let's get it. Oh, yeah, that's a negative on that. That's a negative. So what I'm going to have to do is measure these or go get some custom made. But I'm going to measure them and see if I can order some that's long enough for each one. I'm going to need three. One, two, three. I hope y'all can see this. I know it got wide view. I hope it's in view. Uh oh, wrong one. All right, script the Y. I'm gonna script both of them. Yeah, wrong one. All right, script both of the Y. Give them a little twisty twist. A little twisty twist. Twist the little terminal up there. Put them up there good. The ground wire, which is the, the dark color of black wire. Slap a black one on there. Slap a black one on. Hit it with the heat shrink. All right. So, y'all see that little bit that's sticking out? I just cut that off. Yeah, I just cut that off. Mm -hmm. And then boom, there you go. Got speaker wire. And then another thing, you see how the wire's sticking out? So once you screw it in, it's gonna cramp it down onto the wire. It ain't gonna be able to go nowhere. Especially with it being on this amp rack, so yeah. Let me finish knocking these out. I got probably like these the front speakers on. Red deck speakers gonna go to this amp, and the uh, dashboard speakers gonna go to this amp, and all the sits in the halves gonna go to this amp. All right, I'm done wiring. I got all the speaker wires ran. See, I got them labeled, so they all ran to where exactly they supposed to be at. Yes, sir. So what I'm doing right now, I'm about to muscle this motherfucker up in this car. This bitch gonna be heavy. I already tell you that now. Let's see if I can get this baby up in the car, though. So everything wired up, man. Yeah, yeah, well, you already know. You already know. He got this thing okay. Yeah, oh, yeah. Man, this shit. I'm about to yeah. put this bitch in the car now. I just got finished wiring that motherfucker up. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. She yeah, about to be right. snap that bitch in the trunk, you sure. Out of her own, a 95 Impala? Perfect too. Hey yo, boy, they were just in time. Boy, they helped me get that motherfucker hey, pinned up. We couldn't handle no motherfucking shot. We been that bitch all night. That man, I'm telling you, bro, it's go time. But that's that's the main reason why you make them ant rats, cause you do all your wires and everything before you put that bitch in. And all I gotta do is hook the ground wire to that, the power wire to that. Yeah. And that's she it. Already, she, she already. <laughs> yeah, them motherfuckers ain't playing yeah, out here, boy. Play. He yo, sir, that's all I mean. I've been trying to hurry. I said these motherfuckers gonna kill me. <laughs> I been my boys out here sweating trying to get this shit done. But yeah, this boy, shit you came ain't out nice. Playing. That shit came out nice as a motherfucker. Yeah, yeah. Damn. And those are all the speaker wires that go through the car. 
And so these you speak a while. So you running. So once you yeah. just run it all from this. Yep. Damn, that, that shit went up in there sweet. Thank you, sir. You already know, brother. I never love. Thank you, sir. Thank you, Fox. Yeah. <laughs> God, that nigga ain't funny. Yeah. Got, yeah. Nigga got both two batteries back there. Yeah, because that, that shit the right there, gonna, she going to drink. She going to drink. I got to get a big ass I alternator, you, too. Big, you got to put that on the dirty boys. Steel, right? Oh, oh, all that shit, bro. Yeah. Man, my phone, boy. Boy, you got to call it good. Appreciate it, boy. You got to call it good as hell. Go time, man. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. Hey, hey, no cigarettes. That be the I thing to see that bitch transform. But hell yeah, you two of them boys jet right on time. God damn, boy, I'd have been out here fighting like a motherfucker trying to do that by myself. But that shit look good, boy. That shit look good. And I can just take all them wires right there, throw them through the front. I'm gonna have to slide this baby to the right position so I can bolt it down. Let me get a flashlight. It's getting dark. Boy, I swear they was right on time. I had just said something about we had to try to muscle that shit in there myself. Now I can't even see the screw. Causing interference. I had the amps too far back on the on the rack. Looks like the amps are causing interference on the rack. Look like they touching. Look like they touching right there. Mm -hmm. I might have to. A couple spots. I might see if I can bend this shit out of the way. Like right there. I probably can bend that. Right there, bend that. For the most part, she in there. Yes, sir. This is a wonderful feeling. Damn, that act right look good. Run all my wires through there. Damn. Oh, shit. It's on the RCA's right there, too. Time. We're gonna fish all these wires right here through to the front. These are the woofer wires. The gray wires are the sub woofer wires. Matter of fact, these two. Go ahead and swing all over this way. So if I start fishing these through, they won't be in the way. Y'all getting that conversation, tell me what y'all think, huh? It's the cleanest setup I ever done. I mean, that shit is clean. 
Only thing I got a hook to it is the RCAs. I have one ground wire going here, one power wire going there. Like, yo, the setup so damn clean is ridiculous. All my speaker wires are labeled up there. Everything. I got my fuse box. Like I said, I'm gonna have my own. I got my lights for my cup holders. I got my own charging ports. Stuff like that. Go time, man. I'm gonna have to get me a big boy alternator. Especially keep them big babies juiced. Big boys in there. But yeah. Now all that's left for me to do is run the speaker wire. I'm gonna get my RCAs ordered first. So I'm gonna end this video right here. So y'all y'all already know. Like, share, comment, subscribe. Get in that comment section, boy. Bro, that was just in time, cause that damn amp rack heavy. I'm gonna have to make some modifications to the little, um, I guess it's a firewall or whatever. To the firewall right here to get my amp rack to slide all the way in the spot. Cause I put these amps all the way at the edge of it. Probably just gotta bend them. I'm gonna try to bend those parts out. Yeah, it ain't that many. Look like it's like two main points of contact. Try to bend it out right there. But yeah, like I was saying before the camera cut off, I just got finished on um, cleaning this baby all the way out. I'm gonna need some more sound detonant. And I'm gonna order up them RCA cables. I probably order like a two feet and a three feet. Two and three feet should be enough. So I might order two of each. You know what I'm saying? That way I had the RCA cables out of the way. Figure, figure out how to run my wires to my fuse box. Oh, that'll be in the next episode. That should be fairly simple though. I'll probably knock that out and go ahead and put all my own trim stuff around the dashboard. All that stuff can go back together. The dashboard can go back together. I'll probably be putting in the um the digital dash in the next episode too. So yeah. Like, share, comment, subscribe. It's on Thursday. Tomorrow is Friday. It's about to be Mother's Day weekend, so. Any ladies out there watching the video, any mothers, happy Mother's Day. And all the fellas, y'all already know what time it is this weekend. They got it, they got it this weekend. So I'll make sure I got the kids, you know what I'm saying, all that good stuff. But yeah, I'll fire that grill up too. Ooh, you know I gotta fire that grill up. But yeah, man. Like, share, comment, subscribe. Tell me what y'all think about that ant rat, dog. First time. I don't put sounds, I don't put systems and cars before. I ain't never, I ain't never went this in depth with it. I learned all this from YouTube. All this I learned from YouTube, all the different techniques on how to do stuff. That ant rack is sick. It made things so smooth.